Hey up viewer, welcome to Wheatley TV. You're about to watch North Wheatley with Leverton first 11 versus Whitwell first 11. Before the comments start uh, about my infamously shoddy camera work, um, we are on a wonky ground here today. <laughs> So don't start getting judgy with me. Uh, Wheatley have uh, just escaped from a run of three defeats. Uh, we won our last one, which we didn't film against Milton. Apologies. Um, and we're playing a Whitwell side who are on a similar run. They've uh, lost their last three matches. Oh, that's a lovely delivery. Some early drama here for Wheatley. Jono turned up a bit late. Um, so he's not allowed to open the bowling till halfway through uh, Eddie's opening over here. <laughs> Eddie Toff's opening the bowling for Wheatley. Oh, he starts off very well indeed. Sorry, I will get a better vantage point in a minute. That's in the air. <laughs> and that's been caught and Eddie starts off superbly. Jord coming around the wicket to this left-hander. Well, after his uh, superb opening over it, Eddie is keeping himself on. And why not, as a great man would say. That's uh, G. It's uh, down to Jord. Wide third man, pings it in and it's only one. It's a nice drive. He's timed that really nicely. It's going to go for four. That's in the air. Oh, it's just over the top of him. And that's four. Not quite tall enough, Adam. <laughs> Big appeal. And not out. The man at gully, Jimmy Nixon. Wouldn't want to be Whitwell right about now. I just leave your delivery van uh, running behind me. That's it. Oh, going so soon. It's really nicely played off the back foot. That's gone for four. What a shot. Oh, gosh, that's uppish. Uh, that's been timed really well, actually. It's going to go for four. Jono coming on to bowl. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Slapped. Back past the bowler for four. Apologies if uh, the microphone keeps going crackly. I think it's on its last legs. I'll have to, uh, an off-season purchase. Oh, Stop by Mad Dog. Not entirely sure if you can see that. Probably not. But um, ten overs down. Whitwell, solid stuff. 37 for one. I think he got an inside edge on that. Cut in the gap where about third slit would have been. And oh, that's four. Eddie replacing George at the top end. That's edged. That's another edge that's gone past Tom. And that's going to come down here for four. Another edgy shot. Graham's chasing it down. Gosh, it's skipping across this outfield quickly, and it's another four. Oh, that's in the air. It's only gone as far as George at mid on. That uh, flurry of boundaries in the last over has brought the 50 up for Whitwell. Done really well after uh, losing one of their openers early. Oh, that was a sharp chance. John is going to be grumpy with himself. That's in the air. It's taken by George. 
and Dan Wheatley's top knock comes to an end. Good persistent stuff from the boys. Jono dropping onto his usual superb line of length, asking lots of questions. And Eddie at the other end getting another breakthrough. His second wicket of the game so far. Straight down the ground for four. Dripping down the ground. Oh, it's just beating the dive. That's going to go into the boundary for four. Top shot. That's been pinged to the middle of the boundary for four. Well, it looks like Eddie's done, both in a bowling allowance sense and a stamina sense. And we've got Tom Waterfield dibbly dobbling from the top end. Oh, that's edged fine. That's going to be four. Oh. Score at uh, drinks. Whitwell looking solid on 84 for two. That's a super shot to start for Whitwell after the drinks break. Four runs. Oh, edge down. He's gone past the diving. Jimmy, <laughs> second slip. Uh, look for two. Oh, gosh, they're backing it up. And they are. <laughs> and that's the end of Jono's spell. Um, sound like a broken record, but <laughs> he's, he's pulled magnificently once again. Um, completely unrewarded. He's going to look back on this season as uh, one of his unluckiest. Oh, some footwork skills from Eddie there. Kicked it to Tom and uh, they go back safely. That's a nice drive. Crunch through the covers for four. Second team stalwart Adam Pattenden coming on to bowl some more military medium. Oh dear, it's gone straight up in the air and he's got a wicket with his second ball. Oh, John, I must be absolutely delighted for Adam. <laughs> Gets a wicket with a full toss. Flicked off his pants first ball for Mr. Willings, Whitwell's overseas player, and he's off the mark immediately. Nicely bowled. Oh, Tom's taken it in his follow through, and that is a huge wicket for Wheatley. Mr. Willings just about dragging himself off the field here. <laughs> Oh, Whitwell, we're approaching the 100 mark, only two down. A robust platform from which to launch an offensive on Wheatley's change bowlers, but those very change bowlers have struck in back-to-back -back overs here. Cut away and cut well, that's going to be four. Brings up the 100 for Whitwell, 104 for four. Oof. Oh, that was a horrible bounce for Toppers. Um, that's going out for four. Oh, they're going to take on Toppers here. Oh, good running in the end. <laughs> Clip fine to Jimmy. Are they, they're going to take Jimmy on. I mean, that's brave. Oh, he's throwing with a floaty one. Top bowling from Adam. Oh. 
pass me by, um, but score is in the crow's nest at the top of the pavilion. Love it. Oh, that sage, no one's uh, in the slips. Adam puts in a super dive, but it's not enough to stop it from going for four. Oh, that's edged by Whitwell skipper Christian Foster. Down to Graham, the third man, and it's only one. Oh, is that bat and pad? Who knows, it's not out anyway. <laughs> oh, what's happened there? Hard to see, but um, I think a chance has gone down. 33 odd and there was this team there were maybe 120 for three. Oh, that's well stopped by dog ankled well he does get battered around as my dog um his dad pete has got uh it was a former keeper himself has got the most wicket keeper hands you've ever seen <laughs> they look like trees in the middle of winter <laughs> Oh, that's nudged down. Brilliant stop from Adam. And he's kept it to one. That's brilliant fielding. Oh, Adam's through him. That's three wickets. That's been leathered through extra cover. That's four. Gone out to Johnny Lights. I don't think it was a chance in the end. They nick a single. We're into the final 10 overs and Whitwell are approaching 150. That's out. Flick fine, that should go for four. That boundary brings up Anthony Lancashire's 50. He's been in since the second over. He's faced in excess of 120 balls, but he's uh, stitched this innings together for Whitwell. Well. well played. <laughs> well, I thought Eddie had uh, bowled out. Again, my maths deficiencies showing through. Um, but he's coming back on at the top end, bowling around the wicket. Oh, that's a lovely shot. That's uh, rifled through square leg for four. You know you're in Derbyshire when you see a dry stone wall, or is that a dry stone wall? Eddie's coming over the wicket now. That's been flicked nonchalantly. And that's four. Great spell from Adam. Three wickets. Well bowled. Big push. Big push, boys. Into the final four overs. Whitwell, 174 for seven. Oh wow, tried an interesting shot there and uh, sad is soft stump, knocked out. Eddie's joined Adam on three wickets here. That's uh, driven down the ground but not timed. We're about 80 miles from the sea here. Next in the lineup of Dibley Dobbers, Toppers. Oh, I just shouted Tom, and they come through for the single. Oh, that's been put down by John O. And they come out for two.
So again, up in the air, it's not going to find anyone. Toppers to bowl the last over of Whitwell's innings. They're tantalisingly close to 200 here. That's really well bowled from Toppers. Gives it the air punch. Have some water. Oh, he's connected with that really nicely. Where's it gone? <laughs> it's gone down for four runs. Whitwell gets to the magical 200 mark. 201 for nine, I think they finished on. Bit of an odd innings. They uh, started off very watchfully and uh, got to sort of into the 80s for two. And then the drinks break really uh, turned the tide in Wheatley's favour. Or uh, Dibbly Dobber. Um, change bowlers came to the fore and eventually I got to a decent score here. Let's see how uh, Wheatley chased these down. Will you join us in Wheatley's reply. We've got Eddie Toffs and Toppers opening the batting. Eddie facing first and he's facing the formidable Andrew Shaw who, I don't know if you can recall the first match of the season view way back in April. Mr Shaw got 8-4. 28-ish I think against us uh, including us losing seven wickets for one run but uh, <laughs> I imagine that's just a once in a season occurrence right viewer <laughs> uh -huh. Jimmy Nixon's joined us viewer as Eddie let's that one go how are you doing Jimmy I'm all right thanks back there bit tired after those 50 overs it's a marathon effort mate it is mate especially uh, when you only play two games a year well, indeed, um, yeah. but didn't look out of place, mate. You, uh, you you fielded the ball beautifully. Thanks, Fax. And I, I did. Enjoyed it. <laughs> Good one, please. And again, lovely bowling. So Whitwell finished just uh, above 200. Jimmy, what did you make of their innings? Yeah, 201. I think we held them quite well, to be fair. I thought Adam bowled superbly, considering it's the first game in the ones. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, it's... 20, 20 runs a player, so see what happens. That's edged and toppers go, second ball. Oh, pretty decent up for Tom first up. <laughs> Uh, nicely worked down by Tom. That is fielded very well, and they come back for two. Oof. Nice shot from Eddie. That has gone through back with point for four. <laughs> Eddie's uh, placed that down the ground for four. And he goes again, goes over the top of mid on this time. Been watching and, you? <laughs> yes, he's watching you, mate. <laughs> oh, it's an involuntary shot from Eddie. He's going to get four for it. He goes again, this time slightly less convincing it's gone through square leg, but it's the same result, four. Got all day, Eddie. That's chopped down, that's another four. I think that might be five in a row from Eddie. That is an absolutely delightful little clip off his toes for four. Oh, Eddie's got hold of that one. And that sailing down towards that wooded area for four. <laughs> what happened there? Addy goes again, a bit closer to the bowler this time, but same result, another four. His ninth, 
Um, he's raced on to 37 off 25 balls. <laughs> Oh dear, I think that just dipped in front of him and it's been put down at mid-off. Nicely worked off his pads by Tom. He's racing towards the boundary, it's fielded and they come back for two. In closer inspection of um, that wall, uh, it's not a dry stone wall, it is indeed a wall. Apologies viewer for my lack of knowledge. And I'll wear a hair shirt for the rest of the season to punish myself. That's gone over the top from Tom and that'll be four. Brings up the 50 for Wheatley. We're 51 for one. We're in the ninth over. Also brings up the 50 partnership between these two. Eddie's got 37 of them. Eddie clatters that back over the top and that's four. Tom smashes that down the ground. Lovely stroke for four. Ten overs gone, Wheatley rattling along at six and over here. Oh, he sent that up. He sent it over long off. And what's going to happen? Oh, they feel it. There's two men out there to stop him win that shot. Oh, <laughs> streaky shot from Tom. That's gone for four. Well, this is an intriguing fielding position directly behind the bowler. Is that an edge? That's a huge wicket for Whitwell. There he goes. Johnny Lotes in at four for Wheatley. Oh, he's been given. I'm not sure he hit that. So, back to back breakthroughs for Whitwell. They are uh, right back in this game after um, a few dicey moments with uh, Eddie and Tom batting. It's a big appeal and not out. Well, Johnny has flicked that way for four. Johnny's got a free hit here for a no ball. Oh! <laughs> Eddie. Oh, I mean, Johnny. <laughs> Smash that. Uh, Three extra cover, and that's four. George carves that in between slip and gully. And that's gone for four. That is caressed through the covers for a delightful four. George has punched that down the ground. Couple of bounces, four. Over 20 overs gone. Wheatley are approaching 100. Oh, he's through him. That is, that's a huge wicket for Whitwell and I think they know it. <laughs> oh my word! Now, <laughs> there's a chap in behind him, just in case he dropped it. And he took that as well. Um, 
Well, they're going to be a bit annoyed because I've not only missed an amazing grab at slip, I think I might have missed that one as well. Sorry, lads. <laughs> Miss catches. Crackly microphone. Changing the battery mid over. This is what you come to Wheatley TV for here. Yeah. That's been given, jaw goes, and this reply is in tatters. This is classic Wheatley this season, unfortunately. Got off to a rollicking start and just capitulated somewhat in these middle overs. Well, if you haven't uh, kept up with what's happening out there, we've got uh, Adam Patterson in facing and he's batting with Mad Dog. Some work to do here. That's hit Mr. Wellings in the unimaginables and he's getting zero sympathy from his teammates. <laughs> ah, Serge by Mad Dog, that's going to go for four. <laughs> when you see a, a field setting like this, you don't have to be an expert in uh, reading the game of cricket as to where this match is. <sighs> Good leave. Oh yeah, Dog's got all of that. That's uh, skipping down for four. Got Andrew D.B. Shaw coming back on to hopefully, from Whitwell's perspective, polish off this rather miserable uh, Wheatley reply. We're on 114 for seven, and there are 20 overs to go. And Adam gets off the mark. Dog has absolutely slammed that for four. What a shot. And he's um, nearly taken out uh, that short cover. <laughs> well, you can say that, but those are uh, Arthur Scargill's favourite trousers. Oh, yeah. That's a nice shot from that dog. It's a teaser. <laughs> it's gone for four. Been popped back to him and Adam goes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your friend and mine, Jimmy Nixon. Oh, <laughs> shot by Jimmy. Um, is it going? No. <laughs> They're going to come back for two. Oh, and it's Nick behind, and Jimmy goes. <laughs> Wheatley's last man. Our very own Silver Fox, Graham Holt. Oh, yeah, Dog's put that over the top, and that should roll into the boundary for four. It does. Nice shot from Graham. Uh, it's well fielded in the covers, and he's off the mark. Lovely shot from Dog. Crunched it through the covers for four. Oh, oh is that out? No. <laughs> Oh, Mad Dog! One bounce four over the top of backward square leg. So we've got Jimmy Nixon back with us here, viewer. Uh, Jimmy, how was it out there? Uh, you know, I just disappointed myself, back. So. Oh, mate. I would have loved to have seen you smite a few back over the bowler's head, but it wasn't to be today. Yeah, next time. Yeah, indeed. It's a nice shot Got by Graham. Me. That's got down for four. That's burst through his hands. Well, it's not a scene that Mad Dog will be hugely used to. We've got quite a few people out on the boundary here. I hope Graham doesn't suffer from claustrophobia. Oh, Graham has absolutely flayed that through the covers. For four! <laughs> 
Well, they're spreading the field now for the last ball, but um, I don't think Graham's going to be taking a single. <laughs> well, I have to say, I didn't expect to be here at this stage. Um, eight overs to go, and Wheatley have got to get 45. A lot of this is going to be on Mad Dog's shoulders. <laughs> Gosh, that's a brilliant shot by my dog. That is skipped along the outfield through mid wicket for four. Two balls going the over, fields in. Mad dog has taken full advantage, and that's another four. He moves on to 45, and Wheatley have got 34 runs to chase. This is going to be close. Oh my word, how did that? <laughs> Put some off spin on that. <laughs> oh. oh gosh, that's going to go for four. Into the 20s to get here for Wheatley, 29. Oh, that's chopped down again. That's going for four. That's Dogs 50. His first 50 for Wheatley for six years. And what a knock this is. He came in in dire straits for Wheatley at number eight, and he's played a little gem of an innings. He's got to keep going here. Five overs to go, 22 to get for Wheatley. Oh, he's seen that sailing out. It's gone for four. Oh. 18 off 22 balls here for Wheatley. Mad Dog swats that out, but it's um, going to find one of three men out on the leg side boundary, and he turns the single down. Flicked out by Dog. I think they're only going to get one here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> one ball for Graham to face here. And he blocks it out. This is going down to the wire, this one. 17 off 15. Oh, that's gone out. A long arm, it's going to drop in front of him. And they take the single. 14 needed off two overs. How are your nerves, viewer? Minor shot. <laughs> Ryan Bannister coming on to ball. It's a dog. Oh, gosh, that's gone over him. Die, Thunder! It's well fielded out on the boundary. Oh, he's placed that brilliantly, dog. It's well fielded. They're going to launch it back in and they come back for another two. Oh, he's been put down and they get through for a single. <laughs> So, quite incredibly, we've got down to the last over here. These two have batted absolutely brilliantly. The score when Jimmy Nixon was out for the ninth wicket was 129. And here we are, six balls left. Scores 191 for nine. We need 11 and dog spacing. Eleven of five. It's uh, dark out there, so he's done well to feel that. And they come through for a single. Zong G. Nine off three. Wheatley need a boundary. Oh, it's gone straight up in the air. He's got it. It's uh, a comeback for two. Oh, Mad Dog's been run out. And Whitwell win a quite brilliant cricket match. Well... What a breathless end to what looked like a match that was going to peter out into a simper. But Mad Dog and Graham combined to put on, I think, 70-odd um, to really uh, worry Whitwell. It was pin-drop silence between deliveries for the last sort of 10 overs. Um, but Whitwell emerged triumphant just... Mad Dog gets a very well-deserved round of applause. What an innings, the best I've seen him play. Um, and Wheatley will be gutted not to win that, but we looked 
in no chance to win that halfway through that inning. So brilliant heart shown. So we're now down to the last two games, both back at the Wheatley Oval. We'll uh, see you next week for the match against Anston. All the best.